you so much for your time. Thank you. So uh, you had a, a great event last yesterday. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering, what was the topic that you share with the Vietnamese audience? Uh, what I shared yesterday was the outline of a formula for achieving success, making money, uh, that applies to basically any business or industry, any job function. So um, it's really an overall formula that allows you to take any vision you have for the future, a goal, um, any outcome that you want, and the word we use is an intention, that you create an intention, and then to turn that intention into a reality. And the way you do that is by um, learning how to navigate through both worlds of success, which is the, the inner world, what happens up here, your mindset, mm -hmm. and then the outer world of success, which is your real world business strategies. Uh, how do you run a business? How do you build it? How do you grow it? How do you um, learn how to be wrong in business? And sometimes you're wrong, very often you are. And mm -hmm. how do you maximize the lessons, minimize the pain, and then try again? And then ultimately, when you get things right, how do you really grow a business? How do you add a zero onto your income uh, and turn a, a small mom and pop into a, a regional player and then ultimately a, a huge company? Mm -hmm. uh, and wrapped in that is, you know, what I really specialize in, known for, is persuasion. Is, you know, how do you learn how to close the deal? How do you increase your closing rate, um, shorten your sales cycle, um, develop long-term customers for life. Um, so it was, you know, the only challenge was a very short period of time yesterday, but got a lot of info in there and gave sure. people some, you know, massive value. So it was a, good, it was a really good day. Um, you are famous of creating the straight line yeah. uh, sales system. Could you kind of explain a little bit what is it? What the straight line really does is it shows you, it's a very simple formula shows you what has to line up, what are the things that really have to take place in someone else's mind before they say, yes, I want to do this. Mm. So it shows you what those things are, and it shows you a very simple way to line them up one at a time. So it sort of demystifies the sales process. What happens with many people is they're, they're not natural with sales, they're a little overwhelmed by it, and um, they don't know, you know, what do I do first? What do I do second? They, they, they don't know what to do, right? So what the straight line does, it's a, it's a very formulaic, systematic approach um, that allows you to basically sell anything to anyone. Mm. Well, I know you are a born salesman, no doubt about it. But for the people, for the person, for an entrepreneur who is not a born salesman, mm. what are some of the steps that they must take to improve their sales skills? Well, and that's a great point because, you know, the, the issue is, is that for every born salesman is a hundred people who are not. So it's like, and it's a, such a crucial skill that if, you, if you're lacking in that skill set, it, it holds you back. You could possess all the other skills for success. You can know how to market yourself, yeah. market your products. Uh, you could have a, a positive mindset, right? Know how to run a business, but if you can't close the deal, it's hard to make money. So some of the, the basic steps for people that are struggling are, is number one, uh, being, becoming aware that it's not just what you say, but how you say it, okay. your tonality, your body language, how you listen to people when they talk to you. So in other words, a great salesperson is, is, is an expert at getting into rapport. So if I were to ask you a question and you know, say, tell me a bit about your business, and then as you're responding to me, you know, someone that's, that's not very competent will just sit there and look at you uh -huh, uh -huh. And versus someone who's like, uh-huh, oh, I see, uh, okay. and, and I have a way of, through body language, facial expressions, my little grunts and groans, is, is to, you're saying, wow, the guy's getting me, he understands, and we get into rapport very, very deep like that. There are certain key questions you have to ask, big picture questions, and then go to small picture questions. So there, there, there's a group of questions, and then there are these core tonalities of, you know, how do you sound excited and enthusiastic, and how do you sound passionate, and or something's in short supply, and it's all these little tonalities. And, and what happens is it's so easy to learn mm -hmm. because we already do, we do this stuff every day. We just don't realize it. So when you become aware of these things, it's just very simple mm -hmm. for anybody to apply them to a sales process, and also just to regular communication to become a more effective communicator in anything, whether it's with your, with your children, your spouse. Uh, you know, it could be a, um, you know, a politician communicating to his mm. constituents. It could be a teacher talking to a ch the children. You know, it, it cuts to everything. So are you saying a great salmon can be made? Absolutely. How can you sell a not-so-good product? 
how could you sell a not so good? Well, I mean, listen, the, uh, the idea is, and I, I've made that mistake in the past, right? <laughs> so the idea is, is that, you know, you wouldn't want to do that. And, and, and I, just, I don't really think the straight line is about that. And I don't want it to be about that. Um, you know, I, I, the idea is to use the straight line system to help people solve their problems, get the things they need, resolve their pain, not to sell someone a crappy product so you can make a commission. So mm. my suggestion is if you have a product that's really not good and up to snuff either, get a new product or get a new job if you work with the company because you don't want to be out there selling mm. garbage. It's just, you know, it's something you don't want to be doing. Sure.